The relentless onslaught by the Israeli occupation on Gaza continues and abetted, with no respite for its beleaguered residents. This time, an UNRWA school in Osirat camp, serving as a refuge for displaced families, becomes the target of a vicious bombing, claiming the lives of six Palestinians. Men are crying, women are crying. It's a terrifying situation. Those displaced from the north and those displaced from the south are all in the shelter centers of the agency UNRWA. This should be a red line. Schools belonging to UNRWA should be a red line. It should be safe for the displaced. There should be an international position, an Arab position. There should be protection. More than this, what can we say? There is no God but Allah, and God is sufficient for us, and He is the best disposer of affairs. Witnesses recount harrowing scenes of destruction and despair as homes are reduced to rubble and families torn apart by the indiscriminate violence. Displaced individuals from Nusayrat camp express their anguish and desperation, highlighting the pervasive sense of insecurity that grips the entire Gaza Strip. The targeting took place at around midnight. We have been working since 12 a.m. and we have recovered 15 martyrs and dozens of injured people from the site. We recovered many survivors. The work is still ongoing, but it requires a lot of time and efforts because the tools and equipment we are working with are simple. We are in need of heavy machinery and tools to help us recover the martyrs and survivors from the site. The Palestinian civil defense condemns the use of internationally banned weapons by the Israeli occupation, emphasizing the catastrophic impact on the innocent civilians, particularly children. As the conflict enters its seventh month, the ground incursion into Rafah exacerbates the humanitarian crisis, leaving hundreds of thousands of displaced Palestinians without a safe haven.